Okay, here we are to talk about the cell phone disruption. AT&T cell phone, and I'll just say cell phone, and we'll call it something. So basically, I wanted to call it, I talk about this because the other morning when I woke up, I noticed a, there was a problem. I had no cell phone reception at all. And then I started, uh, I just ignored it. I thought it was a glitch or something. And then I somehow an article came up and I looked at my notifications which told me what, which, what was wrong. How did I know... Uh, how did I get notifications? Well, I have Wi-Fi, so I didn't need the cell phone network. And it just makes me laugh my ass off at how many people panic over losing cell phones for just a small amount of time. I, I can understand the people that need it for work when they're on the road and stuff. That's totally understandable. They need their email and all that. But just the people that are kids... You can go without your cell phone for more than a few minutes. It's really not that hard. I don't get why people are making such a big deal out of it. And you know, it wasn't just AT&T. I think it was Verizon and T-Mobile that had a lot of problems with internet connectivity. They said it wasn't a hack. Do you think these companies would admit if they got hacked, if they didn't have to? The only time they would ever admit they got hacked is if actual personal information was stolen. Unless that happens, they're not going to tell you the truth. I mean, you'd have to be an idiot as a company to go out and say, oh, we got hacked. And then, you know, a lot of people don't want to um, st stick with the network anymore. <laughs> I'm a person that just lo I, 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 I love technology, but I love how people get too addicted to it. Um... I have an Apple Watch with a cell phone connection, but it wasn't the end of the world. I um, At first, I thought I was going to have to go out without a cell phone connection when I went, went walking, but everything was restored by then, so everything was okay. Um, Apple should be ashamed. I, I mean, not you know, actually, Apple should be ashamed. You know why Apple should be responsible for this, too? Because if there's an outage like this that's huge, Apple should send out, like, some kind of crazy um notification to all their iPhone users about what's happening because they're the only one that can, can that that can basically communicate with people a lot of people don't have these news apps because of what's happening in the world so if Apple would have sent out some kind of big notification like when you have a weather storm and we get all these ridiculous um updates for alerts for amber amber alerts for when people kids go missing and all this other stuff. Why can't we have an alert when there's a massive outage? Like over Wi-Fi, Apple can send something to everybody's phones to tell them there's a problem going on. That would be nice rather than to just find out yourself every time from a news network. And how, we don't know how reliable they are with the story. All right, well, right now I'm trying, I'm getting fidgety because I'm trying um, to charge my watch. I don't know how that's going to go. It's over 75%, but I have 25 minutes, I, and I don't want to wait any longer than that before it's done. Bye-bye.